Hi folks, Damon here. So today I want to show you how to query Athena using EMR Studio. In order to get up and running, uh, you need to get EMR Studio set up, of course. I'm all signed in here in my own workspace that I've set up with single sign-on. Uh, if you wanted to create an EMR Studio with IAM, you can do that as well. Um, but let's just get started straight from the notebook. So the first thing you need to do is create or connect to a cluster. Uh, if you don't have a cluster running already, you can create one from down here. Just add your cluster name and you only need one instance from this because we'll just be running uh, Python 3. I already have a cluster running, so I'm just going to go ahead and connect to that cluster. And once we're connected to that cluster, what we can do is we can go ahead and launch a Python 3 notebook. So you can see now we are attached, and let me just close that there, and we'll create a new notebook here. The first thing we need to do is just install the Pi Athena module. Um, with notebooks, there is a pip executable inside of EMR notebook env bin. So we can just run a pip install Pi Athena in the notebook here. Uh, you'll see mine says requirement already satisfied. That's because I've already run this in this uh, cluster. So that installs pip inside uh, the primary node of that cluster. If you were doing this on a fresh cluster, you would have to go ahead and just do a quick restart of the kernels. So you'd go up here to kernel and restart for it to pick up those libraries. Um, but I've already done that. So let's go ahead and try to run a query from Athena. So I'm going to import the connect method from PyAthena. You need to provide an S3 staging directory where your queries get written out to, as well as the region name. Uh, create a cursor and then just execute it. So if I hop over to Athena really quickly, you'll see in my default database, I've got two tables here. So I'm just going to do a select star from my hoodie trips table. And for each row in there, print out the uh, results of that, of that query. And so you can see here's the different results of that query. If you want to select a different database, uh, you can as well. So I've got another database in here, an intro to data proc database. So I'll just do a show tables from that intro to data proc. Again, cursor dot fetch all. That'll print all my rows in an array here. And then I can use this data inside EMR Studio, uh, you know, uh, regardless of how I want to. So that's a really quick overview of how to use Pyathena inside EMR Studio. Uh, you can, of course, connect this to Git if you want to and push out this uh, notebook to a Git repository and have other folks work on it. So uh, pretty you know, useful way to be able to easily write queries from EMR Studio back to Athena. If you want, you can also connect to an EMR cluster that's using the Glue data catalog. And if you do that, you can use native SQL in your PySpark kernel as well. So if I go up here and just switch my Python 3 kernel to PySpark and hit select, let me go ahead and create a new cell. And I can use this percent percent SQL magic and use, you know, same SQL that I was just using above. So I'll do a show tables from intro to data proc. That goes ahead and starts a Spark kernel on my cluster. And then I can execute this SQL inside of Spark. So if I wanted to pull a bunch of data um, from S3 using that glue data catalog, I could go ahead and do a select star from there. Or if I wanted to run some analysis uh, that way, I could do that as well. So if you didn't want to use the Athena engine, but you wanted to use uh, the Spark engine inside of EMR. That's another way to do that as well. So you can see there's my Spark application starting up. And as long as the data is in S3 and compatible with Spark, it can go out and it can query that data just the same way or in the similar way that Athena would. It would just use the Spark engine for that. So that's how you can also query that same data using Spark in EMR. All right, that's really it. Bye.